just kind of my thoughts and opinions on all the movies and then uh, we'll go from here so yeah starting off with a amazing movie we got Revenge of the Sith this for me my favorite movie of all time is going straight to S tier now we got Empire you know another great movie it's going straight to S tier for me as well I think this movie is just amazing just in every single way I just I absolutely love this movie I just think I don't know how you wouldn't put it in S tier uh, but yeah, after that we have Rogue One. I thought this movie was really, really good as well. Probably the best movie that Disney has made so far, in my opinion. So I'm probably going to have to put this one, I'm thinking like B, A, C tier. I don't even really know what I want to put it in. I'm going to have to go with, yeah, I'm probably going to go with just keep it in A tier here. I, I was thinking the range, and then I was looking at the other movies, I was like, yeah, this definitely goes A tier compared to some other ones. Next we got uh, episode two. Love this movie. Absolutely love this movie. It's going straight to A tier for me. It just doesn't break that S tier category for me, but pure nostalgia with that movie. And same with Phantom Menace. I have to throw that one in A tier as well. Um, absolutely great movies. Just super great movies. The Darth Maul scene really makes that movie incredible. Um, just the buildup of the characters and stuff. But yeah, next we have Return of the Jedi. I recently watched this in the theaters, and so I'm throwing that in A tier. It's a good movie, great movie, but just doesn't get that S tier status for me. Next we have, oh my gosh, B tier, straight B tier. Like, I do like this movie, but after rewatching it years after, it just, just doesn't get any higher than B tier for me, and it probably will never get any higher than B tier for me, sadly. But, you know, still a decently enjoyable movie. Oh gosh, we have The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, this is just going to go in C tier for me. Like, there's... I mean, I, I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking about the movie. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it in C tier for now. Um, I liked it, but there was a bunch of missed opportunities, and I didn't love it. Uh, definitely not as much as Episode 7. And then we have Solo, throwing that in C tier. I mean, this movie for me is either C or D tier, and then, you know, we have Last Jedi is definitely D tier. I mean, if there was an F tier, Last Jedi would be an F tier. Let's just be honest. And then we have A New Hope, you know, kicking off Star Wars in general. Such an amazing movie, and without A New Hope, we would have literally none of these movies. And although some are not great, there are some amazing movies that have changed my life forever, and I'm grateful to George Lucas for that. I just love Star Wars in general and being encapsulated in that in that space. But yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. This is my tier list. These are my favorite movies to my least favorite. Uh, the Last Jedi, honestly, I could even put lower if there was an F tier, but there is not. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. And yeah, I'm going to have to tweak this real quick. Oh, ah, there we go. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching. It means a ton. Please subscribe, like, hit that bell for notifications. And stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be doing more of these in the near future. I'll see you.